Da, da, da. Rise and shine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Hey, internet, via Instagram. It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Well, it's the after, 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 aftermath of the bloodbath. <laughs> hey, Kim3. Did you have a good time a couple of days? Well, right now it's it's is it it's Thursday in, in uh, well I'm in Cape Town now. It's, it's Thursday in Cape Town. That means it's the day after, the day after, the bloodbath. <laughs> I'm sorry, not the bloodbath, the tear bath. There's a lot of people crying. Did you enjoy? Did, did you enjoy the crying, peoples? <laughs> but here, look. This is, like I said, this is a Thursday, which, which means to you, well, means to me that this is a audio drama day. Yeah, this is, welcome into the tea tirade for a Thursday, audio drama day. Uh, you know, Fridays we do a week wrap up, what happened to that I missed, whatever. Saturdays, whatever comes to my head. So Sundays I usually read something and then riff off of that. Uh, Mondays is me day. Uh, Tuesdays is uh, U.S. stuff day. And Wednesdays is world stuff day. So we're on a Thursday. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to call this uh, next. <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay, as an audio dramatist, uh, if I was to be writing this up as a play, as an audio drama play or a regular stage play, this meaning uh, the tear bath, <laughs> the tear bath, then uh, here's what I would do. <laughs> Poor Carolyn is still crying. Poor baby. Hey, didn't you listen to all my things? I told you that that Kamala was going to get squashed like a bug. See, here's the thing. Let me explain to you all. Everybody's joined their team, and they only listen to, they're in the echo chamber of their own thing. You know what I mean? Uh, see, see, I grew up in, in uh, uh, the Black Arts Movement of the 60s. And, um, you know, revolution and all that stuff, you know. And what we used to do, we used to, we used to, we used to look at everything, you know. You know, read Ramparts, read the, the, the Liberator. We, we just read everything. You know, um, a lot of newspapers, a lot of reading. And then you see all sides of the situation. Let's put it that way. A lot of times, what people people chose their team, and then they would just get reaffirmed to what was on their team. They wouldn't be listening to things. But here's the other thing: people don't understand, especially with elections. People, if you're paying it, if you're a little bit politically minded, and you're checking in. Like I said, you don't have time. You're checking into your thing. You're not really. Let me put it this way. I, I hang with the, I'm down with the downtrodden. In other words, I know what's happening in the streets, <laughs> or in the soil, whatever level, and I know what's happening in the suites. I know because, not because I'm there, or I'm there at the downtrodden, but because, you know, I read and I, I pay attention and I'm, I'm old guy, I have time, you know, I'm, I'm, I say retired, I'm not retired. Well, I have time to, to uh, whatever, that, 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 most people don't have that time. Now, let, let us go to some principles, right? Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., what he says, a couple of things he says that people forget. One, all you have is your time and your energy. That's all you have. Right? That's what you're given. Everything else, you know, people get paid and then get paid to take away somebody's time, get paid to take away somebody's energy, whatever. But also he says other things are for the code, you know, the, the, the compensatory concept code. Um, he said, you shouldn't call people names. You should call them what they say they're going to be. You you shouldn't, um, how do you say, uh, yeah, you shouldn't call people names. And then you, it, it, call them what they want to be called. So you can't run around calling somebody a, a, a racist or a Nazi or Hitlerian or whatever, they, whatever they're saying, unless they say that's what they are. You see what I'm saying? Uh, otherwise, it's, it's, let's it this way. I think it's, it's counterproductive. Okay? The other thing you should... Um, one, uh, no, he says a lot of things, but, but one of the things I just find useful is that you really, not only call them, calling people names is a big thing, but also you should, well, let me just leave it at that. We don't want to go to a whole lot, of, whole lot of things. So if I was going to the next thing, here's what I would say. If, okay, we're in Africa. Let, let, let's say a, 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 a herd of gazelles are, are running around, right? And then you've got the lions waiting, the, who are they going to pounce on? The way the herd or, or a lot of herds do, they have the they they have the the weak the weak uh, things on the on the sides on the sides of the herd, right, or in the back, right. So the lions, where they come and they jump on the the weak ones, right, 
and in the center you 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 have the, the, the women and you know stuff like that and then you have the warriors wherever they position you know so so it happens well what what I, what I've learned from this whole thing what I've learned what I've observed from this whole thing is that it's, say black people you know we're the ones that made sure that uh, Kamala was gonna because she wasn't good for nobody you know so so what happened is uh, basically we had our um, we had how do you say I want to say yeah we had the Negro peons you know the the Kamalarians <laughs> the outsider those are the weak ones the outside of her they did air brains you know outside of her yes I said it Carolyn I said it the Kamalarians on this of course we're we're trying to get liberation and. Kamala wasn't going to liberate nobody. I'm not saying that, no, no, I'm not going to say not. So that's actually what happened. What we need to do, I just said, well, Donald Trump, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. Yeah. First of all, you got to, okay, I'm going to leave him alone today. Just, just leave him alone. Let him bask in his glory, right? But what are we supposed to be doing? This is the question. What are we supposed to be doing? Here's the thing. In fact, no, let's, what Kamala, what, what, um, what, uh, what do you say that, uh, uh, hey, Zimbabwe is in the house. Um, oh, via PE or whatever. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Trump stayed on his square. That's what he did. Because if you react to somebody, then what? Then you're in their you're in their wash. You're in their backwash or their wash, and you're reacting. And and you, you sometimes you lose focus. You know. So, I guess what what well what? So what's happening? He stayed on his square. He did what he's supposed to do. He talked to everybody, or all groups, or uh, demographics, whatever it is, and people still was calling them names, or you this, you that, and, and most people just, so what, you know? Well, this is our next move. What is, it was interesting to me is like, I'm, now I'm talking to black peoples, well, basically black men, because I gotta talk to my troops, you know, the, the tip of the spear, right? The, the, the protectors of the herd, right? We need to stay on our square. Stop reacting to to what we call, you know, to, to Negro peons. Stop reacting to, uh, I love it, Tariq and I'm having a big fun, tethers, you know, all that stuff. And what are we going to do as, as people start keep on, you know, Orange Man is going to do this or whatever is going to do that. What What's our agenda? And our agenda doesn't depend. It's not a reaction to their agenda. That's the point. Stop reacting. Then you become, by definition, a reactionary. <laughs> you see, what's your plan? And stay on your plan. Whatever your plans, you stay on that and let them start reacting to your plan. And then you could ignore them also because you're, you're, you're focused. The, the herd's got to get over to that water hole over there, right? They can't be, if, if, if there's an attack, you know, well, the weak ones, you know, the, 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 the I'm not, again, don't call anybody's name. The, the weak ones, the people that are going to be apologists or whatever they think they're, let them get attacked by whatever's going on because the, the tip of the spear, you know, the, 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 the masses, okay, I hate to talk that kind of term, but, you know, the peoples, you know, the downtrodden, we know what we got to do and we need to do it. And that, and the, and the real tip of the spear are black men. What we say, is what it is. We the warriors. It's as simple as that. So, warriors assemble. <laughs> Don't I throw that comic book reference in there? You know, because we got we got stuff to do, and it has nothing to do with whether whatever parties in favor is going to do whatever their agenda is. That's their agenda. The question is, what's our agenda? And one of the things I'm saying because they still not talk about reparations yet. Well, I haven't heard it. I haven't really paid attention, a lot of attention. I had some reactions because it's funny, you know. I, I, actually, I got um, um, uh, Hanan, she gave me some uh, buttered popcorn. What is some kind of popcorn? It's really good. So I was last night, I was doing popcorn and looking through the internet and laughing. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's upset. Um, <laughs> so that, bless you. And so, uh, <laughs> early morning sneeze from me in. Um, uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, so that, that's what I was doing. I was like, uh, having fun. But what's our next move? That is the question. And I, my, my thing I'm going to put this next year is uh, Malcolm's 100th birthday. Uh, Malcolm being Malcolm X's 100th birthday, right? And what, what, what I'm insisting that uh, we write 
uh, lineage reparations on every place you can. When they ask for additional comments, write lineage reparations. You keep on going through every place you get. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. Just write lineage. Every place you can, write lineage reparations. Don't graffiti or someplace. I'm talking about on official kind of things, official po polls. Because remember, election day was nothing but a poll. You think you were voting for somebody? Nah, it's a poll. It's an official poll. <laughs> an official poll, right? So that's what I'm suggesting. That we're gonna and and we'll we'll. Well, I'll talk about that some other time, but we start our strategy sessions um, during, during, uh, 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 during Kwanzaa, like between uh, Christmas and New Year's. We all sit down with your family and start your strategy session. You implement it starting on uh, Martin Luther King's birthday, inauguration day, and you go through to Malcolm's birthday, and then you strategize how we're going to get out of our morass and what our strategy is to, uh, for, liber for the ultimate liberation. Okay, that's it. Talk to you later. Uh, I'm sorry for your tears here. Oh, what? Can I offer you a, a crying towel? <laughs> oh, the orange, we're going to win. Oh, the <laughs>